And um, if James is ready, I want to bring James up on the stage right now. James L. Cisneros is a founder and CEO of The Possibility Company. A round of applause for him as he comes on stage. James L. Cisneros, founder and CEO, The Possibility Company. James Cisneros is a serial entrepreneur based in Miami, Florida. From a young age, James saw himself starting a business and entrepreneurship is his passion. He uniquely sees opportunities to align systems and proofs to create value for users. He has led Launch Executive Consultants, a boutique recruiting agency for over two decades. He is also the founder of The Possibility Company, which developed a Web3 ecosystem to reward teenagers for positive social networking behavior and real-life participation in extracurricular activities. This creates social and financial inclusion for youth globally. James is a graduate of the University of New Mexico and completed executive education in entrepreneurship at the Wharton School of Business. With the Rouse Innovation, let's make welcome James L. Cisneros. Hi everyone. So I had the prettiest slides. Lots of colors, big text, images. It would have wowed you. Wasn't expecting to be pulled into that panel discussion, so my Wi-Fi didn't work. So I'm going to wing it. But uh, it's more conversation, conversation about vision. When talking about social and financial inclusion for youth, you have to look at the core problem. And oftentimes, if you're not solving the core problem, you're really not making much of a difference. Further, and I mentioned this before, that it's a vision that really makes a transform transformative difference. Visions transform when people address problems, there's just that minor improvement year over year. And when you look at social and financial inclusion, you need to look at are we solving the right problem? Is a vision properly aligned? Now, you know, the World Bank don't worry, my presentation didn't have a lot of data, and this conversation won't either. The World Bank, you know, central banks, NGOs, research universities define social and financial inclusion. Frankly, the definition doesn't matter. They have data about social and financial inclusion. Frankly, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. Okay? They have steps to support financial inclusion, and frankly, it doesn't matter. The reason it doesn't matter, in my opinion, they're fundamentally addressing the wrong problem. Now imagine with Nigeria's population, if you were able to bank every unbanked adult tomorrow, what happens next year? Every student who graduates, most of them are unbanked. So I propose that the problem isn't the unbanked adults. And granted, you know, they have less opportunity, they're struggling financially, all of those impacts, they're living with day and day. And we don't abandon them. We still work on supporting them. But if we can bank the students in SS1 to SS3, in a generation, everyone in Nigeria will be banked. Now, this is a power of intelligently applied technology, right, to solutions that matter. So my company is a possibility company. And our vision is equal awareness and access to opportunity to build the skills and confidence to succeed in life. And that isn't creating a different program. And it's amazing, so many experts in inclusion create different programs. How can something different support inclusion? It's different. It's not aligned. But there are a lot of opportunities to support inclusion in current programs and opportunities. So let's create equal awareness and access. And then we do that, let's give every student a wallet and baby step them, gradually bring them to the banking system. And this is how we do it. So I developed a social app, Zaha, okay? Made up the name. And what it is, is it is designed to support schools and youth organizations. There are so many worthwhile organizations. I'm actually very proud to be working with Skills Outside School Foundation, which supports a number of worthwhile programs for government schools here in Nigeria. So schools and youth organizations, they actually do 
offer opportunities to students to participate. And it's actually that participation is where students, teenagers, build the skills and confidence to succeed in life. One story I will share with you. I was invited in 2018, it was, to International Finance Corporation's Global Education Conference. And the expert was an expert, a futurist in the area of learning and work, the future of learning and work from Singularity University in California. And Gary Bowles, I believe, was his name. He claimed that, he argued, that curiosity, passion, and purpose is a foundation to learning and work. And every example he shared were students achieving that in activities outside the classroom. So we have Zaha that can be used by a school or youth organization, and it's a very powerful application. It's a social network. Call it what it is, right? But it's a social network that starts with a powerful invitation, welcome to high school, or welcome to leadership. Sign up. In the US, when we tested that, we had a 90% invitation to registration conversion rate. And when they register, we build them a wallet. Our wallet is off blockchain and on blockchain. You know, technology never is the answer. Technology looking for a problem is a waste. But we are off blockchain, on blockchain. Now imagine every student in SS1, if I had the right partnerships in Nigeria, having a wallet. And then with, by partnering, and partnering is critical. You know, I've mentioned on partnering with school, Skills Outside School Foundation, by partnering maybe with a local bank, we can issue them a debit card. They're banked. Every SS1 student. That's the game that I'm playing. And then uh, the DG actually told me, and I didn't know about it, Enora. And there's an opportunity to actually add Enora to our digital wallet. So our wallet, and I mentioned Zaha and Aha, and I left out a major, major component. We reward students for participation, maybe for things like school attendance, volunteering, leadership, sports. We reward them. And because I wrote the rules on this, right, this new digital asset, technically it is not a currency right now because we're protecting ourselves in the US market. This asset, AHA, rewards students. And I have an independent body of educators, you know, impact investors around the world. They determine the behavior and the value of the reward for all students worldwide. So if I get students in Miami, where I'm from, $5 in value for participating today, I gave that to students in Nigeria. So we actually give them a wallet where they can mint an NFT, where in the future they'll be able to have a debit card, Enara, right? And then potentially turn that aha into something useful, valuable. So basically what we're doing is we're gamifying positive online social network behavior and positive real life participation and we can reward every student in Nigeria with that. So that's what we're doing. So see, it's visions that really make a difference and the proper application of technology. If anyone is ever just a pro proponent of technology, run. They need to offer you a solution. They need to offer you a solution. So that's what we're, we're doing. And, and by the way, Zaha also has a lot of value. This social network is free, it's ad free, okay? We don't track user behavior. We don't need to, we don't need to uh, maximize user, see someone holding up a phone, I'm sorry. We don't need to uh, maximize, uh, manipulate users to get them online. We actually don't need our students to be online in order for our model and our value creation to work. Then in the future, we can give teachers a wallet that was already requested here in Nigeria. We'll be able to reward them for the extra effort they take on supporting students after school and after school for teenagers is where they develop the skills and confidence to su succeed in life. So that's my big vision. Uh, we're actually hoping to launch tomorrow or Friday here in Nigeria. This was kind of like, if this was a week later or two weeks later, it would have been perfect. We were going to launch next week in the U.S. first. But we're actually launching while I'm here with my partner tomorrow Friday. So. I know it was pretty short, pretty brief. I hope the lack of slides didn't, you know, disappoint you all. But uh, that's the game that I'm playing. If you're interested in partnering, uh, please visit with me. If you know schools or youth organizations who would benefit from this, again, we're strictly targeting SS1 through SS3 right now. 
we cannot go younger. Okay, thank you.